That mullet? That's not a mullet. He just has long hair. Great gouts of fire. He was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend. She's awake. Oh! My, my sister, who is actually not my sister, and it might actually be my girlfriend, which I did not know. Or maybe she's both, who knows? Go to her, you fool. This is a Japanese game, after all. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Alright, let's go say hi to our fake sister. Come on, mate. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh. Oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Damn! I think Gav and the nurse are, are hitting it. Oh, look, the Moogle! Can I speak to the Moogle? Let's see. <laughs> Is it the <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Wow, that's rude. Well, here I am, so drink it up, drink it in, Kupu. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm. He knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar, the bold something something that I couldn't read. Fuck. Clive. You understand Moogle tongue, Kupu? So it would seem. I'm reading the subtitles. Finally, Kubo! I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understands a word I say. Kubo, fuck, I couldn't read the rest. Painful. But now you're here, my pom-pom safe at last. You can hear me, you can actually hear me, Kubo. Nice, there you go. I just made a new friend. Knock, knock. Damn, I love that long hair. Look how long her hair is. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's true then. It really is you. I thought he was getting ready for fighting or something. It is. <gasps> Clive. Oh, uh, reunited. So how the hell did she so become she Shiva? Shiva? Hey, Amazaki. Buenos dias, senor. I still can't believe it. Como estas? Are your wounds healed? Th the wounds that I inflicted. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. How has been this game so far? It's been Forgive good. Me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. Took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me. Isn't it crazy that the men are always the ones to die? But Why can't the they just be gay and kill the woman and capture the man? My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. Well, honestly, she could totally use her power to... To free herself and free... Everybody, but you know. what happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Wouldn't it be better than just killing innocent people? Or, or uh, helping them kill innocent people? It was me. I killed 
Joshua. No, Clive, come on. No. That's, That's not true. true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. No, it's not, it's the fake truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, But so, if this guy is Joshua, how the hell was he in the past? Goody man. He, he spoke to me. What did he say? Francis. We have found you. What's an what icon? Mean? Clive. I'll explain the moment. We should go back there. To Phoenix Gate. Why? I need to know what really happened. And so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... Damn, she really is my girlfriend. All right. Let's do You'll it. Be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <laughs> but we just met, so we're Sorry. not gonna. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I, I do really enjoy the fact that she is Shiva and we are Ifrit. And in in old school Final Fantasy games, basically Shiva and Ifrit are, you know, they are total opposites. Ifrit is like this hellish, like this hellish hound that can't control his rage, while Shiva is this delicate girl that like it's super powerful, but she is in full control. And basically, Ifrit is weak to Shiva, and Shiva is weak to to Ifrit. So it's it's actually quite nice that they have like this little romance together. And yes, Yamazaki. Icons are basically the summons in this game. And but summons here the, don't work as summons in the other Final Fantasies. It's, it's not like it's not like a person can summon multiple things. It's more like we are the summons. You know, the the summon the summon spirit is inside of us. The icon spirit is inside of us. And we can call upon them, like, to do special attacks, special elements. And in some, in some certain cases, like Jill, for example, she can turn herself... There's, like, her human form. There's the, her half-human, half-icon form. And, there, and then there's the full icon form. But whenever you go into full icon form, normally you, are, you basically just lost yourself. You lost your mind. You're not yourself anymore. You're a... You're what you're the monster, you're the icon, you know. But for some reason, Sid can control his icons. Sid is Rama. And he actually can control himself even when he turns himself into an icon, and I, I really want to know how. How he did it. So your mind's made up, is it? It we'll is leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Damn, he's gonna kiss him or what? Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at uh, we're Where's friends. When you need him, give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Here she is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Look, Yamazaki, a waifu. Ready, my lady. She's my waifu, though. 
Ready. My lord. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You Damn, that grass looks beautiful. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Wouldn't it be cool if we could get our, we could actually get our home back? And then that home would be our home base. Thanks to you. We should press on. Damn, look how beautiful that grass looks. I love grass in video games, man. Homecoming. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her yeah. patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. <laughs> Sounds good. Amo, hey, look! Look how beautiful it is! And look at the grass! You see the grass, how beautiful it looks? I love grass, man. I fucking love grass. Grass is so good. It feels so nice to step on grass, too. You, sh you guys should try it. Just be careful with rocks, okay? Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperials. Maybe I should up your rations, build you up a bit. But you love another old enough in the best, don't you? Hmm. <gasps> Is that a... Fuck, I don't remember the name, but... It's a monster. It's a monster from Final Fantasy XIV. A big horn. Here it is. Let's get him! <laughs> I dodged into the attack thinking that I would be able to... You know, it's that, that trick that I have, like, dodge into the attack and you'll be, you'll get the invincible frame. But no, I got fucked up. Oh, damn. He, this guy helps it a lot, huh? Haha! What? It wasn't a perfect dodge. Oh, damn. Shiva also does her little attack. Boosh! Oh my god, that was so much damage. 11k! Damn! Fuck! I can't dodge it! Ah, got it. there you go. Got it. Got one. Oh, is he getting angry? <gasps> yes, he is! Oh, <laughs> oh god. Whoa! Angry boy, huh? Oh! One day I will dodge that shit. Oh, oh! Woo. Get over here! Pa, 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 pa. 
Boys! I'm here, have you seen your sister? Uh, I talked to her yesterday a little bit. She was telling me what she liked and didn't like about the game. And I did the same, of course. And for now, we, we agree with each other, as always. Except the part where sometimes I feel that the game is a little bit way too flashy and it's hard for me to understand what the fuck's going on. But she doesn't have that problem. Because, you know, she's not old like me. Why are you killing this innocent chocobo? What do you mean a chocobo? It's a, it was a big horn. Alright, so. We had our fun killing things. Let's, let's continue. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Can you go up here? Oh, we can't. <gasps> A side quest! Oi! Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Of course I can. Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Oh, they are racist here in Rosaria. Yep. A crumb of crystal than God an damn. Eye, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? Oh I need no. More help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was funny, late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't. Run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Sure, I might as well. Why not? Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You know, let's kill him you with kindness. To the stable, if we help him, you're like, you know what? Maybe these branders are not that bad after right? all. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Damn, <laughs> what an asshole. Sure, let's prioritize the quest of this one racist guy. Did you hear that, Jill? Jill, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say that you were my master? Look, look how happy they are. I wonder what, what this guy was was holding. It was probably Gizal Greens, right? Alright, but let's, let's not waste any time. Let's go. We need, we need to stop getting sidetracked, man. But the combat is just so fun. Oh. <gasps> rest. Uh oh. Imperials. That's one of our branded. Take it in. He's not one of ours. Look. It's with his master. Nice, it worked. Okay, good. This is good. Hey man, I got the thing. You the stable master. I was asked to deliver this to you. Sealed crate. I bet it was just gazelle greens. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Huh. Sounds about right. Have it full of gazelle <laughs> greens, no doubt. Sounds about Probably right. He's an idiot. I know him. Is all greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant. Wow, so these parts. we could have actually you gotten attacked by by the so by chocobos. In the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Okay. Wow, 18 experience points. I'm so happy that I did this. Good girl. You get some rest now. Oh, he's a good guy. In this world everyone is equally handsome. It's true. I'm not opposed to this. You barely have to step out your front door then. Days before you're set upon by beasts or, or, or bandits. Look, I've been all the way over there. So much for the Holy Empire bringing us a new age of enlightened order. The place has gone to the dogs. 
<laughs> People are not very amused with the Empire. Everyone's like, yeah, the Empire is coming, so now we're, we're gonna, you know, everybody's gonna be smarter and, and shit like that. Ooh, look, look how beautiful that is. Damn, is that the capital? Is that is that my house? Over all the way over there? I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Yeah. Oh look. A fast travel thingy. Look, there's something shiny over there. For all parts of the Empire being equal, if that's all the crystal they give us. Dude, that's so cool. That's a water crystal. It's not like any of us lowborn can afford a bearer anymore. So it's not like the water is coming from the well. The water is coming from the water crystal. That's pretty cool. And it's infinite water because, because you know, magic. Where is your sister? She's, she's here. But she's not actually my sister, by the way. She's my fake sister. Who is also my girlfriend, it seems. So thank god that she is fake. Also, I can bring my dog inside, which is pretty cool. Hey, this place is not half as bad as I thought it would be. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial Bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the West. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. She has the same hairstyle as Tifa, but where is the booba? Um, the front part of her Sounds hair is before. different. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. It, it's My a bit mother, longer in, in the front. Friend of Sid's. Jill's hair, I mean. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. Dude, that it, it's just like a little shallow river underneath. Just, just go. He went out on another job. Wet your boots a little bit. Back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Good. Very well. Let's go find this carpenter. I'm sure that nothing you bad has happened he to him. Out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Oh, the gate. marshes. Uh-huh. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side I'm sure of the that nothing happened to him. Way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha. Bernard? I would read that as Bernard. Very well. Let us do this. Let's do this side quest that is part of the main quest. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Oh yeah, she also told me about the ladder, but, you know, I wasn't paying too much attention, so I don't know where it is. Ah, here it is. When are you going to kiss your sister, but not your sister? What was that? Uh, pretty soon, I wonder. Under the bridge. Like, we're, we're, we're going back to the place where I kill, I supposedly kill my brother. And there's probably going to be some sort of, like, very emotional scene, and then they will end up kissing. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. 
Oh shit. It's over. It's over. That's enough. You lose. Wow, that was actually quite easy. I thought it was gonna be like a little boss battle. But no, it was just like little scorpions trying to kill that guy. You good? Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? Bernard. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around and I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. Please. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I, I clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. And hopefully once we get there, the bridge will be fixed already. Unless he goes, all right, now you gotta help me. Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. Why didn't you do We're it then? We're hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. If it was so We're easy. We're grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. It's your job. <laughs> yeah, come on. Son. You're with Sid, and yeah, me and him would go way back. Oh, he Not knows as far Sid. As of mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. All right. Damn! <gasps> Here we go. So, so we are gonna kiss. We're gonna take bridge a rest at the end. And there's only going to be one one single room left, so we have to share the room. Hell yeah, let's go. What? <laughs> yeah, sister, your sister, but not your sister. Yes, I'm going to sister her. It was good on it. I'm horny. Oh, I mean, back. I'm I'm tired. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. I need a room. He's fine, and he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north. Why does she have a candle? For food. It's the middle of the day. Keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. Yes. We'd be delighted. Here we go, quest complete! And now this is gonna be a new quest. Damn, we get so much money. I think I've only spent money like twice. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. Give me a little do not disturb oh, sign, please. I prefer the truth. About why there are so few bearers around here. The truth. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Auriflam? The miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. I do like that Kojima is playing the guitar. Congratulations on the new arrival. 
And you got a little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Wait, what? Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. She just gave her son away? Because he was a bearer? Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Jesus. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. I don't think I want to see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. That is so crazy to me that a mom just decides to to give her son away because he's a bearer. That is crazy. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. That is super crazy. This little market area reminds me of Divinity. Divinity Original Sin, the first game. At birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. Yeah, it's crazy. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. So, let me guess. People are just killing bearers. And, you know... The chapel needs to bury them, and there's gonna be even children. Let's see what bullshit... What bullshit is upon us. Good day to you. I'm afraid the abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. Grieger. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. Oh boy. Please, father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light. Your fate. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care. That I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can. For the time they have left. Their arms are turned into stone. has taken them. All of them. 
as it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Find a cure, you must save them. The cure is a little potion called Soft. At least in other Final Fantasy, whenever you are turned into stone, you just use a Soft I and poof. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now, their final moments may be moments of peace. So let me guess, are we going into the mines and stop this? When next you see Martha, that sounds like madness. Pray tell her that two more have succumbed. You know, all of this is all well and good. To Martha's rest. But yes. I I am still more shocked that the mo the mother just gave her baby away. <laughs> like yeah yeah, grown ass men are dying. Who cares? But the baby? No way, dude. A nine months baby was just given away into slavery. Just that's the part that that got me the most. Not the people dying, like, because of course, of course the people are dying, like, yeah, no shit, no shit people are dying. Good, ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. <laughs> ah, you're back, yes. <laughs> the abbot uh -huh. has a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Dude, and at that point, it's a, Come it's a good tires. thing. Like, they, they were, like, suffering. There was no way to save them. Like, it's good. Like, now they're in peace. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to East Point. <laughs> Yay! Let's forget, forget about all this slavery you. stuff. Yeah, That's let's just continue. Yeah, Thank fuck you. it. Who cares? Martha. Oh well. Oh, what a shame. Almost forgot. Good luck with so that, sister. Have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. Oh no. Seal obtained. You accept the slumbering chocobo from Martha. And Good. know that you will always be welcome here. Wait, what about the room? We, we never rest. We never got our alone time it. in the room. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. There you go, cast complete.
No kissing your sister, but not your sister. Yeah, it's so so sad. Wait for Gil. I wonder if I'm already rich. Because I have a bunch of those bugs to trade for Gil. <gasps> Free chocobo? No way. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. <gasps> With a thousand little lightning bolts. Oh no, he's turning into Swing stone too. To. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Nice. It was a nice lighter. It's a fire crystal. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. Damn, that was a big hit on his blunt. Back in the day. Stoner Sid. A slave to a fight, just like you. Did you see that? He just did Oh! <laughs> I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Jesus. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. Not kiss your sister. She's not my sister, Dad. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Words of wisdom. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Aw, so I'm not getting a chocobo. I thought they were uh, gonna uh, give us a chocobo. What a shame. Well, let's go. Let's go, Jill. Holding on. Damn, look how beautiful this thing is. I wonder how this this little area right here looks on the screen. Because on the stream. Because there's just so much stuff. Oh, look. Try to. Because there, there's so many little effects that sometimes I wonder if the bitrate is actually okay. Or if I should up the bitrate a little bit. Wow, a big ass town and only two people walking around. Okay, three. There's an old woman. Quiet. Isn't it? Too quiet. Yes. Way too quiet. You. You're Clive Rossfield. <gasps> How does she know? 
Kill her! She's racist! I think. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. I I don't even it was you. I didn't even remember that he had a wife. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. It's good to see you too. Damn, the hair of this game looks so pretty. Oh, there they are. Come on. You're gonna make me cry too. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Good. We should be delighted. Damn, a free house again. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. I wonder if we will ever, like, remove the tattoo. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Do you think you will stay here? Clive doesn't like tea, by the way. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Damn, it, it was Clive, man. Clive was the one. He got fucking disintegrated. I, I'm sorry. Clive. Damn, dude. He was our senpai. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Is he gonna tell her that he was the one who killed him? It was an accident, but damn. Are you sure you don't <gasps> want to sleep inside? Here we go! I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. I love her hair. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. 
I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us Damn it, Clive! We should get some rest. Right. He fucked up! No! no Clive. No, Clive, he fucked up. Dude, she leaned she in so much and he, he he didn't do anything. Oh. Man, what a waste. Oh, what an idiot. He sucks? Yeah. Thank you. Thank well, you. he's been a slave for a long time. Like, he's a little bit jaded, you know? But damn, fuck. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Damn, I look good! Well, before Elwyn became Whoa! Archduke, I just noticed that it's actually a brand new outfit. He and Rodney were like brothers. It's my it's dad's clothes! My real dad's! Collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Dude, he looks like a character that I would make in my in my my games. Sorry for depriving you. Whenever I can create my my own character, this is exactly what I would make. Good. Damn, I look good, dude. Look at my shoulders. My shoulders are as big as Sid's now. And I have a cape. I'm a vampire. I'm basically a vampire. Most kind. No, I should thank you. Even my no sword fits with my outfit. While. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. My hair is beautiful. Fare you well, my lord and lady. My edge lord and lady. lady Hannah. Damn. Wait, is this my dad's sword as well? And that's why it looks so good? Wait, let me check. Because I got a bunch of new gear, it seems. Yeah, look, it's the Invictus. Metian Cross, the Metian Bonds. Actually, do I have a new... Increases healing policy by 20%. Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's the damage up. And you know what? I think I might actually use it. 
Increase attack by 7, increase defense by 10. Fuck defense, man. I don't need defense. Yeah, let's go for this one. There you go. I look so good, dude. That's awesome. I look thick too. I'm a lot thicker than what I was with the other the other outfits. Hell yeah. Alright, cool, let's go. Let's go. We're almost there, I think. This has been a really nice road trip. I like it. I'm with my girlfriend. I have new... I, I'm with my dog too. I have new clothes. This is awesome. We're almost at the Phoenix Gate. That was the R2 of deloading the area behind me and loading the next one. No wonder their crops are failing. Oh. Light is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Dude, the, if this is happening, why are we at we war? to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. <gasps> as if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Oh! Take away the oh, force. that's so cool! And problems are all that's left. Because the earth is dead and there's no ether in the in the earth for us to summon upon to use magic. Look, I can't even use my my special attacks, so it's full physical from here. Damn. I can hardly imagine what this place used to. Gob Gob is watching you. Took it. Good. I, I hope that. he understands American. It was beautiful. Damn, that's fucked up. So it's even harder to fight against the blight where the blight is because we as humans cannot use magic while fighting the blight, technically, right? There it is. Phoenix, Phoenix Gate. Gate. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Clive can't handle the truth. Alright, here we go. Huh? Oh, I'm not going to walk there. Okay. 